Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move. Be clear. Welcome to our uh, YouTube channel, Casual Fan Experience. We've been um, delving in the in the realm of podcasts for nearly twelve months now, and we thought now is the time, um, if ever there was one, to crack out a bit of YouTube content. So um, we jump in. For those of you, those of you who may have heard our voices before, you can now put a face to it. So, uh, Tommy, how are you, mate? Oh, just freezing. But other than that, I can see that. <laughs> the, get on the YouTube with the soft. blanket with the blanket draped around you, mate. As the um, <laughs> as the only as the only Warriors fan um, in the in the podcast, you'd have to be feeling pretty good at the moment. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty warm, warm inside. It's good, mate. Not <laughs> but I'm happy. Lukey, how are you, mate? Yeah, mate. Good as always. Um, definitely looking forward to these finals, man. Can't wait. Cannot wait. It's going to be super exciting, I reckon. Absolutely. And last but not least, Brendo. I'm going good, mate. I reckon Tom's getting that blanket ready for about after game six, where he's going to look for somewhere to hide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like okay. it. Big calls. Big calls. <laughs> Calling it early. Yeah. Well, let's, I mean, let's, six. Just, let's just jump straight into it. We've got game one of the finals, you know, um, starting tomorrow over here, hopefully very shortly after this is dropped. Um, we'll get that game one. Uh, big things, obviously. I mean, health for the the Celtics has been a you know, bit of a concern in the last probably. I mean, Robert Williams has probably been not overly healthy pretty much the whole way through the playoffs. And then Marcus Smart has missed games as well and, and gone off with injuries and stuff. So I think for them, health is a big thing. Um, if they can steal mm. one on the road here is, is super important for them. Um, what are your guys' thoughts going in going into game one? Yeah, I think um, Warriors have got a few. I, f- I like an area they've been lacking um, is probably like big wings. And um, I think I think for game one, they've got a few people back. Um, so I think, I don't know how big of a factor he'll be, but Iguodala's back. Um, and we know he's a he's a really good playoff performer. Otto Porter um, is going to be back. W- Wilt Chamberlain's long-lost grandson, yeah. <laughs> um, as many would say. And I think um, I think also Gary Payton is, is back for game, or should be back for game one as well. So I think that'll give them um, just a heap more, like, defensive versatility and, and um, shooters. So... I think I think that'll be a big factor because they they haven't had them for a lot of the playoffs, um, but I think it's going to be a super interesting series, and I reckon I reckon it'll go down to the wire. Can you hear what you guys think? Any, any particular okay. insights or thoughts, mate? Who? You, Reno? Sorry. <laughs> no, no I, I, th- I think Luke's right. It's going to go down to the wire. I, I think defense is going to play a huge part. Um, well, top two defenses in the league, um, I think so for the regular season they were. So, yeah, it's going to yeah. be massive. Yeah, worry, worries are sort of shown they're probably prone to turn the ball over a bit too. Mm. Um, and I think a young Celtics team thrives off turnovers. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how it all goes. To be honest, yeah, I, yeah, both teams think... struggle struggle a bit with turnovers, or at least in these playoffs anyway. They have, yeah, um, yeah, Celtics as well. <laughs> I think um, there's been a few times we've seen Jalen Brown himself have a few, you know, six or seven turnover games, which is weird considering he's mm. not like a real ball handler. So yeah. I think turnovers will be a massive factor for both teams. I think, um, yeah, whichever team really controls that turnover battle will uh, will probably, you know, get that early early leg up. Mm. Yeah. Tommy, what are your thoughts, mate? What quick forty point blowout game one? Yeah, it's not going to matter. <laughs> it's not matter <laughs> Mate, we've got too many weapons. You got Paul, you got Curry, you got Thompson, you got Wiggins, all star Wiggins. So <laughs> come down. You come down. <laughs> mate, you, for, you forgot to you forgot to mention the finals MVP, Kevin Looney, bro. Exactly. I was just going to say that. The, yeah. the Dom, who got robbed, got, robbed of the, of a, got yeah. robbed of the Western Conference finals MVP. Um, poor, mm. poor Looney. Um, Played one good. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. No, no, look at it. Warriors and four, see, it's going to be interesting. I've um, the Warriors, interestingly, I think, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain have let, yet to lose at home in the playoffs at the moment. Yeah, um, I think you're right on that one. Which is which is pretty crazy. So, if they can, um, if the Celtics can snag one one away, that'll be that'll be massive. I mean, they obviously have to yeah. if they want to win. But mm. um, but the other thing that'll be really important for the Celtics is is 
like retaining their own home court advantage. Um, yeah. So when they are at home, they have to win. Um, and yeah. that's where I think we've, we spoke about it before on the podcast. We've got um, Jason Taylor's obviously pretty much every series has given you at least one, if not two really poor performances. Um, and if they're going to happen, they can't happen at home. Like it just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the big thing that we saw, I think, in the last series for the for the um, Golden State is their ability to to like not switch the Curry matchup as much. Um, I think that'll be harder for them to avoid in this one, just because like whoever's Curry's guarding, it doesn't take many switches for them him to be on, you know, in a, in a Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum pick and roll. You know yeah. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very short sequence of events and he's got to guard one of those guys. So I think they'll find that a bit more difficult. I think Robert Williams' health will play, play a huge factor. Um, mm. and, and Al Horford's ability to move the ball from, from especially the way he plays centre, I think will mm. be massive. Yeah, I think um, Al Horford and Robert Williams are going to be are going to be really big in this series. Um, just for the fact that we know that uh, the Warriors, their bigs is probably the position that they're lacking the most. Um, and I think that uh, Robert Williams and and um, Al Horford are going to be going to be really important. Robert Williams, like with his defensive versatility, and then Al Horford's shown that this playoffs he's been he's been really really good, especially in areas like his passing and his shooting. So um, I think yeah, they're going to be they're going to be really important for this series as well. Yeah, definitely. I think I think the um, defensive ability of the Celtics could could be massive, but I mean I've told you guys I, I think yeah the Warriors will win this one, um, and I don't mm. think the series is going. I don't think I think game wise it's going to be overly close. I think score wise it will be, but I, I just feel like the, the Warriors are probably going to tick over a bit too bit too much. Yeah, um, you yeah. would you wouldn't be a true Lakers fan though if you went for the Celtics. Well, I can't go for the Celtics. I like physically, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm repulsed by the idea of Barry the Celtics. So, yeah, um, it could have been anyone else there, and that would, except maybe the Clippers. I probably would. I probably would follow personally. Probably follow, um, the Celtics over the Clippers because yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But, you just wouldn't watch it. Yeah, I just boycott it, man. Because that, 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 that would matter to the NBA to be like, oh no, Pat from Australia isn't watching the finals. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking about the Clippers here. They're, they're not. They're not making the finals. They, didn't, and they, didn't have, they don't have anyone watching anyway. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Poor Clippers <laughs> fans. Okay, so <laughs> heading heading into into game one, let's um, let's go around. We'll do our, I guess our predictions for obviously game one um no, give us yeah, yeah. give me a second i'll just steal this from my sports bet um <laughs> so just give us yeah like prediction for game no, one don't. <laughs> no i won't Predic- <laughs> prediction for game one uh, obviously winner give us like who's gonna you know be i guess the difference maker um and then we'll go around and then we'll then we'll do obviously who wins series and how many games and then our finals mvp predictions so Beautiful. um Tommy, as the Warriors fan, mate, start us off. Who wins game one? Warriors. That was game yeah. one. Who's Damn, the, what a surprise. Who's the standout <laughs> from that from, from game one? Or what's the or what's the big big thing? I would I'm gonna say I would say Steph. And I'm going to say Steph because he's gonna drop 10 3. 10 3, yeah, okay. 10-3. So we're looking 10-3, for like, we? like probably like at least 40 points for him then, you'd think, if he's getting 30 yeah. or three point then. I okay. Hope so. My multi's banking. I'm like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not even kidding, though, Tom. It is. <laughs> you got to drop it at least thirty-five. I saw that. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Um, Brendo. I, 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 the Celtics winning. Okay. And I, I've got. I think Jay Tatum's going to do his thing. I think Brown's going to do his thing, but I think Smart's the key. And I think that's a fair point. I yeah. Think, yeah. Um, like he, he may not have 30 points, but if he can, you know, get 15 and do a yeah. good job on Steph, because I'm assuming he'll be yeah. on Steph for quite a, quite some time. Yeah. Um, that's what they're going to um, need from him, really. So, so, so for me, he's going to be the key. Yeah. Um, for m- probably most of the series, really. Probably. Yeah. That's a fair take. Mm. Um, Lucas. Yeah. For me, for me, with game one. Um, I think I've got to go with the Warriors. They still haven't lost at home yet. Um, they've been pretty much the best offense and pretty much the best defense this playoffs um, to start off. So I think that um, I think that I'm going Warriors game one. And for me, I think the difference maker um, is actually going to be Andrew Wiggins. As much as I 
was um, unhappy with his all-star selection. I think there's a chance that the Celtics um, just pretty much leave him open all game. Um, and I think that if he, because obviously they're going to have to defend, you know, Paul Thompson and Curry, um, they're going to have to bloody stick on them like glue. So I think that um, Wiggins will have a lot of like open opportunities. And if he is able to knock them down, um, I think it, it puts the Warriors in really good stead to win that game. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a fair point. Um, I've yeah personally got Warriors winning game one. I think it's going to be close. As I said, I think most of the games are going to be pretty close. I think it'll be probably within 10, 10 points or so. Um, yeah, I mean, Steph's, Steph's the easy answer. Um, I think I think I actually think Draymond will play a massive impact. His ability to like you know orchestrate their defense. Um, I think if he can hit the scoreboard just a little bit more than he has been, um, I think they'll go a long way. And then obviously just his passing ability, his ability to get guys their open shots and stuff, I think will be big. Mm. And if he's not turning the ball over, because I think when he turns the ball over a lot, they struggle. Um, so if he can manage to you know hold on to possession a bit more, they'll they'll be right for game one. Um, we'll go reverse order to what we just went. Um, what's the final game tallies? I've got um, I've got Warriors in five. I think it'll go Warriors will win both at home. Um, Celtics win their first one at home, and then Warriors will win the next two. In my opinion. Nice. I think was that me next or Brendo? Yeah, mate, you, you lucky. Yeah. Um. So for this one. I've got Warriors in – I was pretty torn, but I, I wanted to pick the Celtics really bad because I, I actually picked the Celtics at the start of the playoffs to win to win the championship. But I think I think on this one, I think I've got to go the Warriors. I just think um, the Warriors in six, I'll say, because I just think that the Warriors experience um, – I mean, they've done it six times six times in eight years. I've been there before. They've got plenty of proven playoff performers. Um, they've got plenty of clutch time players. And I just think that they're going to be – they're probably going to be really, really consistent in this series. I don't see them having a chance of having like an off game. Like say um, Tatum is, is infamous for having, you know, that one really, really bad game in every series. And I just, I just trust the consistency and the, um and just the the experience of the Warriors, I think. So I'll probably go Warriors in six, but um, I'd love to see a seven game series as well. Awesome. Brendo, thoughts? Well, I'm going to be different because I know who Tom's going to pick. He's wearing green. I'm, so. going, to, always, I, I, I'm so. going to go to the Celtics <laughs> in six. In six. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It won't go back to the final game in, at um, okay. Golden State. Cool. I like it. Just to be different. Tommy, you said sweep earlier in the video. You still sticking with that or? Um, <clears throat> yeah, why not? I go up, Damn, sweet. Yeah, sweet. that'll be boring. The NBA, <laughs> won't, NBA won't allow that. Yeah, yeah, they'll suspend somebody. Draymond will get suspended. Yeah, again, Draymond, yeah. Draymond, Draymond will get suspended and Curry will <laughs> come down with um, health and safety protocols. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, who's your finals MVP be. then, Tommy? Because we know Steph can't win one, so. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> I'll say at the start of the year, the Warriors will win the finals. I'll say at the start of the year, I'll make you guys eat your words and that Steph will win his first final MVP. Okay. Said it. So that's I claimed it. Tommy's pick. <laughs> Luke, here you got. Um, I mean, I want to say Kevon Looney so bad. He's turned into <laughs> one of my favourite players these playoffs. But um, I think at the end of the day, I think I think um, the Warriors are going to win it. And I think that even, I think even, even if Steph isn't, isn't the best player on that team. He's going to get finals MVP because, you know, the whole media is, is, you know, desperate to give him one. So um, I think there's not, if the Warriors do end up winning, I think there's little to no chance that he doesn't get finals MVP. Who do you, who do you think you got the Celtics winning? So I'm assuming a Celtics player. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to go a young like Robert Williams. Robert Williams. Okay. Big, oh yeah. Big center. Um, he, big he's very protection. Days. Yeah, his rim protection is massive. It's going to be huge against the Warriors as well. Yeah. Um, I know they shoot the ball from outside really well, but Steph gets the ring at will almost. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I, th- I think he's going to be massive for – if he can stay healthy, he's going to be massive for the Celtics and, and winning the chip. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go with him. No, it's, the, it's an out there one, but it could be, who knows. So I, it is. Um, obviously, I've got the um, Warriors winning – I mean, yeah, Steph's the easy one, but again, you know, we've seen him, you know, time and time again, you know, struggle. 
when it comes to getting his team over the line, repeatedly needing, you know, the assistance of his his multitude of other all stars that they have around him. Um, so yeah, so I think we're going to see you know, a, a pretty good defensive performance um, from from Draymond. I think we're going to see like him orchestrating that that offense as well quite well, and I think he'll have like one game that'll just be like a pretty crazy stat line. So. No, and that may be the deciding game. So I think I think Draymond's going to win his first one. I think his defense isn't going to go um, under the radar like it has in the past. And I think um, we're going to see. And I mean, it's massive for Steph's legacy. I think if uh, if Steph gets a Finals MVP, I mean, I saw this earlier in the week on, on social media, um, and, I, and I somewhat agree with it. I think if Steph gets himself a Finals MVP, where he's clear cut the Finals MVP, um, real chance of of him you know pushing that top ten of all time rankings. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I agree I with that. So, yeah, I don't think he needs one, really. If he gets another chip, I think he's up there. Anyone, not a, but not if he's never been the best player on the championship winning team. Yeah, yeah, I think he needs he needs a finals MVP, personally, I think. To put him into the top 10. I, like, I'm happy with him yeah. about, but for him to be like consistently inside the top 10, you've got yeah. to at least have, have one of them under your belt, I think, anyway. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree with that. But, yeah, going to be an interesting, interesting final series, uh, hopefully, anyway. Hopefully it's not a boring one. Um, After the yeah. playoffs, we've had to be good to get a close series. It's been a weird one, yeah. Lots of blowouts. Yeah. Very few, very few. Have we have we seen it over time? Um, don't think, don't think so. so. Yeah. No, which is which is. I mean, not I guess super unusual. They're not overly common, but you'd, you'd expect that at least one. Uh, yeah. No, um, but like I was saying it earlier, the most interesting series we've had is probably the um, Celtics. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Well, series. I mean, and you know, I, I know it's not, I know it's not podcast time, but if you want to know, um, for the Boston Celtics on their way to the finals, so the total difference of in points for for their games against Brooklyn was eighteen, against Milwaukee it was fifty five, and against Miami it was thirty seven. So like it's pretty, yeah. substantially closer. Um, yeah, we are throughout those games, yeah. but um, I don't know yeah. the podcast, but yeah, stats with Pat lives on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always, always. Yeah. Um, All right. Otherwise, that's probably it, guys. First video, game one, NBA final. We'll be back here for game two, no doubt. Um, and, we'll, and we'll try and get that out as well. Um, appreciate everyone jumping on and have a have a good one. Catch Beautiful stuff. See you, mate. See ya. See you. See you.